A North Texas mother is sharing how she's coping with grief during this holiday season, several months after her daughter's tragic death. Fox Force TCU Mazinga joins us with more on Arlana Miller's story. Yeah, TCU. good morning, guys. So Janice Miller says she never knew or saw any signs that her daughter was suffering in silence. And she always appeared to be happy around her friends and family, but there was a lot of pain she kept inside. This is her um, jacket we had made for her when she made cheer at Southern. Janice um, Miller remembers her daughter, Arlena, always smiling. The cheerleaders would tell you she was the one that would make them laugh, the silly person, the goofy person. She knew how to lift people up. She always just would come in a room and would just smile and will always ask how everybody else is doing. As a talented athlete, Arlena earned a spot on the cheer team at Southern University, a historically black college in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. The DeSoto High School graduate was just as dedicated to her schoolwork. Arlena was on a full ride in um, family and consumer science at Southern University. She wanted to be a psychiatrist. In her freshman year, Arlena tore her ACL and needed surgery. Balancing a busy schedule also got tough. No one knew how much she was struggling. It's like she was hiding it, putting on this mask every day, smiling and happy for everybody else, but she was hurt in silence. On May 4th, Arlena decided she had enough. She shared her pain in a social media post, left a personal letter in her car for her mother, and then took her own life. And I was just like, not my baby, that's my baby. It can't be my baby, not Arlena. Arlena wrote, I have been surrounded by people who may have honestly thought that I was okay, but I haven't been okay for a while. She urged people to vocalize their feelings. I'm learning that a person who we think has it all, if their health isn't, their mental health isn't right, nothing else matters to them. Knowing she can't change what happened, Janice is determined to make a difference. I feel like that people shouldn't suffer in silence. I feel like we should be able to listen to our young adults and adults and not make them feel like they're weak or that they're crazy because they're going through depression, anxiety. Just listen to them and get them help. And when I say help, I mean professional help with a licensed counselor or psychiatrist. Arlena would have turned 20 this month. Her mother hopes sharing Arlena's story will help others. I don't want another parent to have to experience that because the pain doesn't go away. Well, Arlena's legacy will live on through a scholarship fund, and it benefits two cheerleaders each school year at Southern University. And we'll have a link to the scholarship fund at fox4news.com, guys. All right, Tasia, thank you. Well, if you or someone you know needs any help, you can always call the National Suicide Prevention Lifeline. That number right there on your screen now, very easy. All you have to do is dial 988.